Hi, today I'll introduce you to an innovator whose technology has become indispensable to high-tech devices like the smartphone. Let's go and check it out. This is our Takumi or innovator today, Yoshihiro Take, chairman of an ultrasonic machine tool manufacturer. The black device mounted inside this machine is the machining device that Take developed. It's capable of ultra-high precision machining by utilizing the power of ultrasonic waves. It is widely considered to be indispensable in machining precision components used in cell phones, smartphones, computers, and other electronic devices. But what exactly is machining using ultrasonic waves? We had Take show us how it works. He switches on the machine. It doesn't seem to be moving at all. But the machine is in fact vibrating 40,000 times per second. The vibration measures only 2 to 6 micrometers. To a human eye, it seems motionless. It's this subtle vibration that makes the difference when machining hard but fragile materials. What does that mean exactly? Let's try an experiment. We set a glass plate on the machining device. When this tool rotates, it grinds a hole in the glass. Let's see what happens with ultrasonic vibration and without. First, with regular vibration. The glass breaks within a few seconds. Next, with ultrasonic vibration. No broken glass. And it made a perfect hole. Why is there such a big difference? Ultrasonic vibration generates less heat. Normally, during grinding, heat is generated by the friction between the tool and the material being ground. The temperature rises as the grinding progresses, and the glass plate, which is vulnerable to heat, cannot withstand it and cracks. But by using a tool which vibrates 40,000 times per second ultrasonically, the glass is finely ground the moment the tool touches the surface. And the tiny fragments of ground glass that fall between the tool and the plate reduce friction. In this way, it becomes possible to machine the glass without breaking it. With this ultrasonic device, ultra-high precision machining is now a reality. Whoa! This is amazing! These holes are only 0.5 millimeters in diameter. The margin of error is only 10 micrometers. The Takumi's device is used in high-precision parts machining because it's capable of processing hard but fragile material with such superior accuracy. Take founded this company in 1981. It used to be a trading company for industrial components. The turning point for him came when a client asked them to look for a machine that could grind a hole narrower than a human hair. I looked all around the world, but there was no sign of anyone developing a machine with that accuracy. So I thought to myself, I had better do it. And it just might make me some money too. Take took on the development of an ultrasonic machining tool. But he soon faced a major issue. The machine has two parts. The ultrasonic vibration generator and the tool that drills the holes. There are all kinds of tools depending on the size of the hole and the material to be machined. He would need to minutely adjust the number of ultrasonic vibrations for each and every tool to be used. Take proceeded to check the precise number of vibrations suitable for every single one. 
There were more than 100. From the data he gathered, he developed a machine that could automatically calculate the number of vibrations. This was how he commercialized the ultrasonic spindle units that vibrate 40,000 times per second. Take is now 66, but his passion for development shows no sign of retiring quietly. To create something new from scratch. For a mechanical engineer, each and every product becomes proof of their time on Earth. I plan to keep on developing ultrasonic machining in new areas no one has succeeded in yet.